Okay, Brian Hoyer here with Shielded Healing. We have a 5G Verizon Ultra Wideband cell tower right there. And I've got all these other RF meters. These are not measuring ultra wideband. They're measuring uh, the normal 4G and 5G mid band frequencies. So we have pretty high readings and all of that. And right now my phone is connected to a 5G, but not the ultra wideband, not the millimeter waves. So this meter right here is the new millimeter wave meter. And it is measuring 24 gigahertz to 32 gigahertz. I'm gonna go ahead and keep it on that setting and measure. And then what I'm gonna do here is press play on this ultra 8K video. And then we should see a UW show up. And we do, see that UW? Now this is tracking. These are not increasing at all, but this is off the charts. Okay, I'm gonna reset that. So you can see it keeps going up, mostly coming from the phone here. Ultra wideband, 5G, right on the phone. Okay. So this is what we're getting from the, from the tower. As we go further from the phone, you can see I am getting, I'm resetting it. Whenever I press this button, I'm resetting it. So as I get closer to the phone, you can see that's where I'm getting most of my exposure from. I'm gonna come out here towards the tower and measure. Okay. So I am getting a little bit out here. So this is ba these are baseline readings. Okay, I got a little bit of a buzz there. You can see that the it's most of it's coming from the phone itself and it's pinpointing from this tower and now these towers are normally dormant but when you have a 5g phone and activate it it will signal your phone to emit millimeter waves so the phones are emitting middle millimeter waves but it's also gonna throw some millimeter waves at the phone now it's kind of laser focused though so you kind of have to get right into the beam in order to detect it. There, so I was getting into the beam here, but it's possibly the phone because I'm getting close to the phone too. Off the charts, millimeter waves from the phone. Look at that, that's crazy. That is two million microwatts per meter squared. <laughs> that's insane. So this is why it's important to have a millimeter wave meter because if you do have people using 5G technology, then you're, you're gonna wanna be able to measure it. And if you're off like in a stadium or somewhere, you'd be able to measure this because they have 5G in stadiums, downtown areas. Um, best way to reduce your own exposure is to not use the 5G technology if you don't wanna be exposed to millimeter waves. But one caveat to that is when it's connected to that, it's not emitting hardly any of the other waves. Now this meter also measures regular 4G and 3G as well. So that's what I'm measuring now on this meter. Now you'll see like, as it's connected to, is it still connected? Let's see. Yeah, it's still connected. But it's still pulsing some of the 4G frequencies as well.